Good Wednesday evening, everybody. David Paul here in the KHOU 11 Weather Center. It's 8 o'clock. It's our tropical update. It's an interesting day. Today is October the 15th. This is the latest date, the latest day of the year that we know of here in Southeast Texas that we've ever been hit by a hurricane going back more than 150 years. Now, maybe before that we were hit by a hurricane. Maybe we even got one in November, but Nope, from this day forward, as far as our numbers know, our stats know, uh, we've never been hit later than October 15th by a hurricane. We actually had a tropical storm get us back in the 30s on the 17th of October. And after that, nothing as far as the, uh, the history books show. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to look at all the storms that have happened uh, late in the season, how they impact the Gulf, where they usually go, and something that may be brewing in the Caribbean uh, late next week. Again, right now, just computers showing it. Nothing there right now, but let's go over everything right now. Okay, there's the peak. There's where we are October the 15th. That's when the season officially ends on November the 30th. But usually by this time forward, it's, it's getting very difficult to get a storm into the western Gulf and threatening the Texas coast. So as we look at it right now, nothing out there. Lorenzo's gone. No development across the Atlantic Basin. Gulf Carib expected for the next seven months days. That's from the Hurricane Center. That's their outlook. But again, in history, today is a is a very interesting day. Hurricane Jerry made landfall in Galveston on this day in 1989. It was a category one storm when it hit had winds of 85 miles an hour. This is the latest landfalling Texas hurricane in the last 100 years. We've never known a hurricane to hit Texas later in the year uh, than this date. So is hurricane season over for Texas? Well, the stats say it probably is, and climatology says it probably is, because this time of the year, we're getting these fronts coming in. We've got another one coming in for the weekend, and these fronts come in, and they literally just help to deflect storms north and east. So if they're trying to come through the crib, they bump into a front, and they get pushed up to the east, or get forced down into Central America or Mexico. As this time of the year, these mid-latitude troughs really help to deflect storm motion away from the United States. So let's look at what has actually happened. All these squiggly lines. So these are the tracks of every tropical system that we know of that has happened after, on or after this day, on or after October the 15th, since 1850. This is all of them that we know of. Notice how the lines get thicker together, more dense the further east you go. That's the climatology with the fronts coming in October 15th and beyond, deflecting these storms you know, off to the north and east and away from a westerly track that could take them into Texas. But that being said, we've had three of them that we know of come in. Again, storms we know of from October 15th on since 1850. Were you here for Jerry in 1989? That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good storm. Came in with 85 mile an hour winds. Jerry was on a south to north track, came right up through the western side of Galveston Bay. That was the 1989 Hurricane Jerry. So we have had a later named storm, so to speak, hit us. This was back in 1938. They didn't get names back then. It was storm number seven of the 1938 season. It was a tropical storm, not a hurricane. And it came in up the west end of Galveston Bay, central Galveston Island. It had winds of 45 miles an hour. It was a minimal tropical storm. But that's the latest actual tropical storm that would have had a name. That's October the 17th. So we know we can get hit all the way up to the 17th. 15th, the latest hurricane, 17th, latest tropical storm. This one came in on the 16th of October, 1912, Port Mansfield and, the, and uh, just north of the King Ranch. That also was a tropical storm. So those are the only three Texas landfalls of storms October 15th or later since 1850, only three. So probably statistics suggest that the Texas hurricane season is over, but Mother Nature doesn't know or care about our statistics. So could we still see a storm? You bet we could. 
So we're going to keep watching it. Typical October tracks, you, you saw how all those lines were really thick over Florida. So that's a typical track. The storm will form in the Caribbean, get pulled north and then up the East Coast or steered away, all because of these fronts coming in that help to deflect storms off to the east. Those are typical statistical tracks. Very difficult to get a storm all the way into the West Gulf this time of the year because of that. That being said, this is what the Hurricane Center is putting out as far as odds of development for the time period October 22nd through the 28th. And they're looking at the modeling, they're looking at climatology, they're looking at what's going on out here. And they say, you know, there's a decent chance we could see some development in the Carib the 22nd through the 28th of October. Doesn't put it in the Gulf, but it does form it in the Carib. We have to pay close attention to that. Anything that gets into the Carib is knocking on the door of the Gulf. So that's what their statistical outlook says the 22nd through the 28th. And when we look at the modeling, for the past several days, every now and then, um, well, the, the American model has been very consistent in trying to form something in the Gulf, excuse me, in the Caribbean, where the red area is. In that time period, October 22nd to the 28th, sometimes the Euro would join in, other times not. Uh, but today, both the Euro and the American model have come in forming something tropical, a tropical entity of some strength, tropical storm or hurricane, in the West Central Carib as we head into the 22nd, the 23rd, and this actually is the, what it looks like on the 24th. So this is nine days out, but seven days out, it begins to cut off a low here, and then it drifts into its current forecast position there by the model. So we're gonna call this potential development late next week, October 22nd, 23rd, 24th, right there where the Hurricane Center suggests that there is a better than normal chance for some sort of development here. Will something develop? Not sure. We'll have to watch and see if models verify. Notice how through the 24th, they don't bring this into the Gulf. So that's something we're watching for. Again, we show statistically, it's very difficult to get storms further to the west because cold fronts are coming in. And we are gonna see a, a series of little fronts come in, one this weekend, one in the middle of next week, one toward Halloween, we think. And so one of those, if something develops here, may likely be able to steer it north. You know, it may be that Florida is going to have to deal with a late season storm of some intensity as we head into the end of the month. But that's where we stand with the modeling and the outlook going into the week of the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of October. So we still have to watch it. Hurricane season not over. Unlikely that Texas would be threatened this late in the season but nothing is ever out of the question. If it gets a name, Melissa is the next name on the list. And then let's see, Nestor, Olga, and Pablo would get us to 16 named storms. That is what the Colorado State University folks were forecasting for a storm name total by the end of the season. It may be that they're gonna end up getting close. They're getting close right now. Thursday's forecast, uh, humidity begins to come back. On Thursday, we go to a high of 88. There's a 20% chance for a scattered shower tomorrow. We're dry, we need rain showers. We're gonna get scattered showers, I think a few of them on Thursday, tomorrow, and Friday, bumping rain chances to 30%. So Saturday and Sunday are interesting. I'm gonna have to bump these rain chances up. New modeling just coming in this evening is suggesting we may get more widespread rain it may be Saturday night into Sunday morning that we get wet, but I'm going to bump these to, to 40 and 30 for Saturday and Sunday. A little bit better chance for rain with a weak front coming in. A break Monday, 90 Tuesday, and then every now and then models suggest another front coming in Wednesday. I hesitate to use the word cold, but we may end up with another rain chance going into the middle of next week. So there's a lot to talk about. Our next live broadcast on KHLU 11 News at 10 o'clock.